I'm learning how to charge a super capacitor. Here I'm using a USB power pack to charge it. I have a 2 amp uh, power supply and I'm using a charger doctor so I know how much is being drawn. Now I'm towards pretty much the end of the charge. Uh, it's drawing about 20 milliamp and I used the USB power to go through this boost converter to boost the voltage to the voltage that I want and I have a charge controller here that was uh, originally designed to be used for a 12 volt battery but it has a adjustable resistor, a potentiometer here and together with the voltage booster which also has an adjustable voltage uh, adjustment I was able to set the charging voltage and limiting it to 2.7 volt which is uh, the maximum for this super, super capacitor. I've charged it now for about 15 minutes uh, it's now about 2.16 volt and uh, earlier I was using a solar panel of course it took all day to charge it and uh, if I were to use a charge controller I can probably charge it up to full power uh, maybe in half an hour I can charge it faster than the rate it is now if I adjust the voltage limit upward but uh, if I do that I would have to watch it and make sure the voltage doesn't go up beyond 2.7 volt so I sort of like um, reduce the charge voltage so that uh, it will gradually draw little or no current uh, when it gets to 2.7 volt. Now it's drawing between 0 amp to 20 milliamp and uh, after a while it will just show it's drawing 0 amp but in fact the voltage is still going up. It will slowly creep up uh, and will come to almost a stop at 2.7 volt. It might go up even uh, a little sl slightly higher than that but uh, not by much. Definitely much better than just connecting it to a DC power source without any kind of control circuit. Uh, when I first hooked this up the transistor in there. I think it's a LM317. The back side was a little hot so I put in sort of like a mixture heat sink on it and I also have to add a couple of resistors. Uh, these are 1 watt 1 ohm resistors. It was slightly warm in the beginning uh, of the charging. Uh, it could even get a little hot because it was drawing like 600, 700 milliamps and now it's almost cold because it's drawing very little or no current. The uh, voltage will still go up so the charge adapter might not be all that correct. Uh, the voltage will creep up until uh, it gets fully charged and to determine the type of resistor use uh, I go by this uh, formula uh, resistor equal voltage over uh, divided by current so 5 volt if it draws 1 amp your resistor should be 5 ohms and the power of the resistor or the wattage is 5 volt times 1 amp so you should be using 5 watts uh, resistor. Um, so that's, that's the formula.
Uh, but I find, you know, for my power supply, 2 watts and 2 ohms is, uh, seems to be okay because it's not really hot, so it should be working. And this would be much faster than using a solar panel. It would take like several hours, especially if you're using a low power solar panel. So this is charging it way faster. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.